Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer at Kidderminster Ismir. Uh, my name's Nigel, I'm the team rector and uh, it's a real privilege to be praying with you this morning. What a week it's been, a week of turmoil throughout the whole world. And as we come to the end of this week, let's remember that in all of that turmoil, the peace of God is present with us. Today we're thinking of uh, Psalm 67, um, which is a, a beautiful blessing that we can carry with us today. And we're looking at uh, 1 Corinthians 4, where Paul has written into a church of great division and he's trying to get them to understand what it is to be an apostle of Jesus Christ, what it is to imitate Christ. So let's just begin by recalling our week so far, um, just quietly in our minds, and recognising that we are with God and God is with us. Let's be still. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your light springs up for the righteous, and all the peoples have seen your glory. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. So we turn to Psalm 67. This is a, a short psalm, and so we're going to say it through twice to really focus on the blessings and praise that there are in that psalm. If you'd like to join in with the, uh, the verses, then please do. May God be gracious to us and bless us, and make his face shine on us, so that your ways may be known on earth, your salvation among all nations. May the peoples praise you, God. May all the peoples praise you. May the nations be glad and sing for joy. For you rule the peoples with equity and guide the nations of the earth. May the peoples praise you, God. May all the peoples praise you. The land yields its harvest. God, our God, blesses us. May God bless us still, so that all the ends of the earth will fear him. Let's take a moment to reflect on that, and then I'm going to read it again. May God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face shine on us so that your ways may be known on earth, your salvation among all nations. May the peoples praise you, God. May all the peoples praise you. May the nations be glad and sing for joy. For you rule the peoples with equity and guide the nations of the earth. May the peoples praise you, God. May all the peoples praise you. The land yields its harvest. God, our God, blesses us. May God bless us still, so that all the ends of the earth will fear him. beautiful psalm of praise, a psalm that helps us to recognise that God's face does shine upon us, a psalm that helps us through our fears, knowing that God is always present. So to our reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 4. This is Paul speaking to the church in Corinth. Think of us in this way as servants of Christ and stewards of God's mysteries. Moreover, it is required of stewards that they should be found trustworthy. But with me, it is a very small thing that I should be judged by you or by any human court. I do not even judge myself. 
I am not aware of anything against myself, but I am thereby acquitted. It is the Lord who judges me. Therefore do not pronounce judgment before the time, before the Lord comes, who will bring to light the things now hidden in darkness, and will disclose the purposes of the heart. Then each one will receive commendation from God. I have ply, applied all this to Apollos and myself for your benefit, brothers and sisters, so that you may learn through us the meaning of the saying, nothing beyond what is written, so that none of you will be puffed up in favour of one against another. For who sees anything different in you? What do you have that you did not receive? And if you received it, why do you boast as if it were not a gift? Already you have all you want. Already you have become rich. Quite apart from us, you have become kings. Indeed, I wish that you had become kings, so that we might be kings with you. For I think that God has exhibited us apostles as last of all, as though sentenced to death, because we have become a spectacle to the world, to angels and to mortals. We are fools for the sake of Christ. But you are wise in Christ. We are weak, but you are strong. You are held in honour, but we in disrepute. To the present hour we are hungry and thirsty. We are poorly clothed and beaten and homeless, and we grow weary from the work of our own hands. When reviled, we bless. When persecuted, we endure. When slandered, we speak kindly. We have become like the rubbish of the world, the dregs of all things to this very day. I'm not writing this to make you ashamed, but to admonish you as my beloved children. For though you might have ten thousand guardians in Christ, you do not have many fathers. Indeed, in Christ Jesus, I became your father through the gospel. I appeal to you then, be imitators of me. For this reason I sent you Timothy, who is my beloved and faithful child in the Lord, to remind you of my ways in Christ Jesus, as I teach them everywhere in every church. But some of you, thinking that I am not coming to you, have become arrogant. But I will come to you soon, if the Lord wills, and I will find out not the talk of these arrogant people, but their power. For the kingdom of God depends not on talk, but on power. What would you prefer? I may come to you with a stick or with love in a spirit of gentleness. Just take a moment to reflect on those words of Paul and think about ourselves and our own situation. We worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Tell it out among the nations that the Lord is king. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Tell out his salvation from day to day. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. So a song of the blessed. Rejoice and be glad, for you are the light of the world, and great is your reward in heaven. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are those who suffer persecution for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Rejoice, and be glad, for you are the light of the world, and great is your reward in heaven. So we come to our time of intercessions. We're going to focus on the candle, on that light of hope. As we think about the day ahead, we're going to think about how we are blessed by God. And we may be carrying burdens. We may be carrying worries. We may be carrying guilt. We may have physical problems. But no matter who we are or what we are, how we are, God blesses us in some way. God is present with us. And we are called today to imitate Christ, as Paul imitated Christ. We're called to be people of grace, people of love. And so we ask today that we be given the courage and the strength to be imitators of Christ in all that we do, in all that we meet, in all that we enjoy and all that we might suffer. We pray that we can be whole people no matter what our deficits, our weaknesses. As we walk together through a dark time of the pandemic, as we see great political change and challenge, we pray that we can walk in hope and light, that we can be beacons of hope to those around us, as Christ was and is. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As we look at the world around us, as we see people arguing and fighting, as we see disobedience, as we see violence, greed, we ask again that we may be imitators of Christ, that in our small way we might make a difference to God's world. In our anxieties, in our fear, in our anger and our frustration, we pray that we can have calm hearts, that we can focus on the love for our neighbours, love for our enemies. We pray that we can be blessed, that we can be peacemakers, that we can be righteous. Help us, Lord, to be different, to follow your story and not the story of greed and material things. Help us, Lord to imitate you in your word, to care for your word. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God has blessed us with the unity of the church. So we pray today for our church, that it can be an image of Christ, an image of love, of welcome, of inclusivity, pray today particularly for Reverend Bridget as she prepares to leave us to go to North Ormsby. We pray for her as she comes towards her final service with us here in Kidderminster Ismere. As she leaves we pray for the team as we are one clergy person left, less, and we ask for God's strength. We ask that in the change that we will continue to be imitators of Christ. And we ask for God's blessing for his face to shine upon us here in Kidderminster Ismir. We pray for unity around the whole world for God's church. We pray for those who are persecuted. We pray today for the work together of different denominations. And we remember particularly the local ecumenical partnership in Broadwaters, which has been going now for just 14 years. And we give thanks for the wonderful work that's gone on between Methodists and Anglicans. We pray that will continue, even in these dark times. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
We pray for all who are suffering and grieving. We pray for all who are ill, for all who are caring for those who are ill. Remember today all who are in hospital, whether it's through COVID or other reasons, for the stretched NHS and for the hard work of doctors, nurses, radiographers, the kitchen staff, all who work in the NHS, and also for those who run our funeral services, for the crematoria, the cemeteries, for the funeral directors. Lord, at this terrible time, we just ask that you would support them and hold them. We pray for all who are ill at this time, all who are suffering, for those who walk in life with disabilities, with chronic illness. In all of these, Lord, we pray that you will make us whole, that you help us walk forwards to imitate you, that we will have courage and that we will be vessels of your love. Lord, bring healing and wholeness to all who suffer, all who suffer this day. <clears throat> Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Eternal Father, who at the baptism of Jesus revealed him to be your Son, anointing him with the Holy Spirit, grant to us who are born again by water and the Spirit, that we may be faithful to our calling as your adopted children, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Believing the promises of God as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So I pray that you have a good day, that we can all be imitators of Christ and that we can recognise the blessings of God around us, even in these very difficult times. So stay safe, take care, and only go out if you really need to. Look after yourselves. So may Christ, who sends us to the nations, give us the power of his Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.